All right, so I know for a fact that there are those of you who think art galleries are rather boring places to be, but what we are about to show you might change that perception of yours. For that, we are joined in the studio by our Im Yoon Hee, as always. Good afternoon. You, you better Good have afternoon. a strong story today. <laughs> right, so today I have some fun exhibitions, but one of them includes a rather what for many will be a very new art gallery experience. Now, there are a few other exhibitions worth checking out here in Seoul. Take a look. From the outside, this looks like just another trendy club in Seoul. But take a step inside, and you'll find yourself immersed in a rich art experience. The Jean Gallery is now home to a trendy new work of art, inspired by, and some actually created by, the leader of pop art, Andy Warhol. Some of Warhol's most recognizable creations have been reinvented, from paintings to multimedia art, with fun pieces decorating the walls. Lights and a couple cocktails in hand, it's a new way to enjoy some of Seoul's most eye-catching works of art. Linda was a fantastic photographer, and I hope that in this exhibition you'll be able to see many aspects of her work, of her great work. The legendary Paul McCartney of the Beatles isn't the only artist in the family. His former wife, Linda McCartney, who passed away in 1998, was one of the most well-recognized photographers of the 20th century. She captured some of the most famous musicians of the 60s and 70s, rock and roll legends, including her husband at the time. She had access to places most photographers are kept out of, and she documented their lives through over 200 photos in this collection. Korean artist Nam Kyung Min has also opened a solo exhibition, with work that echoes the famous Korean traditional painter Kim Hong Do, known by many as Tanwon. He was a key figure in his day with his new style of paintings and now artist Nam takes a contemporary painting approach to the traditional. Hmm. Paul McCartney is so popular all over right. the world, and Linda McCartney also seems to have veered away from the tradition as well. So right. So actually, uh, Linda McCartney is known as the first female to be her work was the first uh, to be covered on the cover of the uh, Rolling Stones magazine. So that's a huge feat for a female photographer, mm -hmm. especially at that time. Uh, but she really had a unique access to musicians and really an inside look at her life and Paul's life as well. And so she was known for very raw, candid photos that kind of. Uh, had a lot of emotion, whereas mm -hmm. other photographers are focusing on technique. So she really became popular for these candid, beautiful, just li look into life photos. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the first exhibition that we had, yes. Andy Warhol. I mean, yes. we don't even have to explain who he is, mm -hmm. right? Right. So an iconic artist uh, with some beautiful work. Now, this gallery is themed around his uh, very well-known, the Absolute Vodka work that he created in uh, 1986. So he actually did a collaboration with Absolute Vodka and created an Andy Warhol edition vodka bottle and so that's actually available there but um, I have heard that on weekends the cocktails there are free of charge hmm. so you can enjoy some beautiful work and some delicious cocktails. Yeah it did not look like a gallery at all to me it looked right. like a bar. Right so it is a very new different type of art experience for many to enjoy so okay, it's definitely where I'll be this weekend. Thank you very much, Yunhee, and we know where uh, we will be this weekend. Exactly, see you <laughs> there. All right, thank you very much. My pleasure.